By the end of this video, you'll be able to insert catalog items into the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So there are two main ways to insert catalog items into your Roblox games. The first way that I'm going to show you involves a simple script. And then the second way that I will show does not involve any scripting. So as you get started, you want to make sure that you go up to the View tab, and you want to make sure that you have your command bar open on the bottom. And you want to make sure that you have your toolbox showing as well. So I will make sure that the toolbox is there. So we've got command bar and toolbox. So in order to use that simple script, you're going to want to go down to the command bar and go ahead and paste this command there. And this is a line of code, and I will put this in the description below. So the code is game colon get service. And then in the parentheses, you can put insert service colon load asset. And then right there is where you're going to put the asset ID number of the catalog item you want to put in your game dot parent equals game dot workspace. So now we need to find the asset ID number for a catalog item. So I'm going to search for one right now. Let me look for maybe something like an autumn tree. And this is going to work for models that you want to put into your game. So I'm going to find maybe this autumn fall tree. I'm going to right click there, copy asset ID. And now I'm just going to paste that right after load asset. So that's where the number goes for the asset ID that I, I would like, the autumn tree. I'm going to press enter. And then you'll notice I pressed enter, but you don't see the item yet. And so what I need to go is go over to the right hand side of your screen, go to your workspace, and you'll see it inserted a model. And if you have a lot of models in your game, you might have problems finding it. But you want to click on the model and then press F for find. And so now I've found the model. It seems to put the model below your workspace. So if this happens to you, that's how you can do it. Just click on the model press F and then it'll focus on that model. So now I want to move that model to where I would like it. So you just go up to home, move, and then you can just get that above your workspace. So there we go. So now I've got the tree that I wanted from the catalog. Now the second way I'm going to show you is how to insert catalog items. And this will include things like audio and pictures and videos and those kinds of things too. In order to do that, you can just go to your toolbox and do what we did before. Just you won't need a code this time. So let's say this time I wanted to look for a construction sign. Okay, and I found a construction sign I would like and then I just click on it. And then it adds it to my game. So just by clicking on it, left clicking, it'll add it, you can also click and drag that will drag it into your game. So I was able to drag two of those signs in. If you found your item on Roblox, let me show you how to do it that way. So you want to go to roblox.com sign into your account, click on create. And then we're gonna to go to the creator marketplace. And so in the creator marketplace, now I can search for different things. Let's say I wanted to do a cabin. So now what I can do with the cabin is let's say I want the log cabin here, I just click on it. And then on the right hand side of your screen, you can see it says get model, I'm going to click there. Now it says this item has been added to your inventory. Great. So now I can go back to Roblox Studio, go to my toolbox, and you can see there's a tab here for inventory. And now I can see the items that I have in my inventory. So that log cabin is there. And again, same thing, I can just click that into my project. Perfect. And now this is going to work with other things too that you find in the creator marketplace. So let's say I wanted to use some audio in my game. Now I can just find anything here that sounds good to me, you just click on it. And then same thing, get audio. And then now it says this item has been added to your inventory. So I go back to Roblox Studio, go to my toolbox <clears throat> in my inventory and instead of models, I want to click down to my audio. And so there it is the rain on leaves. Lastly, if you'd like to add something like a image in your game, what you do is same thing, go to images, find the image that you would like, let's say the happy face, same thing, get decal, click there. You can also find the asset ID in the web address bar on the top. So right there in the middle, that is the asset ID. So you could just copy and paste that if you want. You don't always have to add it to your inventory. And so when I go back to my toolbox, I can go to the drop down for my images. And there it is the happy face. And again, you'll need to have a part for this. So you'd have to add a part. And then the image just drag it right into your part. So you notice I just clicked on the image and then I can drag it on any side of the part. So I want it on that side of the part, I can have it there too. And so now I can have the image anywhere on that part. So if you've made it this far into the video, you might be interested on in how to attach a part to a character. This might be something that you'd like to use as an accessory as a hat, or maybe something that they might to use in their hand in the game. I have another video that shows you how to do this. I'll put a link to it here.